What's up guys, it's old TJP and in this video I created four different motion control night lapse rigs to send the RS1 inch Insta360 camera through the night very slowly to create really dynamic shots. This thing has dual 1 inch sensors, 6K quality, unbelievable sharpness. My favorite 360 camera on the market right now. For today's episode, we're doing a night lapse from inside the house to outside the house using a homemade zip line. Me editing on the computer, and then the camera zips through the room, sees me, and then it just gets pulled out the window, and then there's traffic and everything. Here's the rig we're going to be using today. It's basically just a Kessler motor with a couple cheese plates, a V-mount battery, and then of course our two selfie sticks with the 1RS cameras, 1-inch edition. Here's our spindle of line. We're going to run this around the door and then out the window over to the side. Okay, that's smart. Run this all the way back. This is long. It's so sketchy. A lot of them don't even have bolts. Okay, we weren't able to see what was happening in here, but oh, it's tight, all right. It's looking good. It's pretty centered. Using 6K video with manual settings so that the exposure doesn't shift. Stabilizer. The lapse is about halfway through outside. Right now, there's no safety line. If this rope snaps, see you later. Okay, we're getting closer to the end now. It's still going. I have to let it go to the end. We're gonna import our footage, make a new sequence, nest the two clips together since they were too long for just one, create a new 4K timeline, drop that nest in there, put on a reframe tool, stretch it how we like, and then keyframe me as it flies out the window. Lastly, adjust our speed control to be the speed we want and render. Those were all created with a $30 egg timer off the internet. All I had to do was attach this little vibration dampener that Insta360 sells, put a little clamp on here, balance out my selfie stick, I added another camera just because it's easy right now. Um, you could add a weight if you want, and then twist it up, and let it spin, no batteries needed. It's so simple, so easy. You get some really dynamic footage with it. Check it out. So this is one of my favorite setups in general. It's a two axis motor with this selfie stick extension. You can put the camera in crazy places, time it however fast or short or quick you want. It's gonna pan up over these bushes, reveal the little gelato place. One of the two roundabouts in Carlsbad. Long exposure, goodness. I'm excited to push this camera a little bit further than just shooting video. Way more of a ridiculous maneuver. Through the fence, so the camera's actually looking back at us through this fence. It pulls back on the slider through the chair. It goes up high, back down, and then through more chairs over here. So right here we have a 10 pound counterweight, which is what allows us to not have to use an entire half section of pole, half section of pole on the other side. Love this thing, but we're gonna grab the F pole V. I wanted a little more reach on this shot to get more towards the edge of this roundabout. Go big or go huge, baby. We're gonna switch into interval. We're gonna go manual mode. We're probably gonna do a two second image on each one. Keep the ISO at 100 as much as we can. White balance, we're gonna lock that now. 5500, both raw as well. Let's start here, record keyframe. Now we're gonna pan, get to our next keyframe. One more move to get back to where we started. Live motion, move time, we're gonna set to be 15 minutes. Now let's go ahead and start. It's just now finishing up this crazy move. Oh my gosh, that's the coolest looking thing. What? Oh my gosh. While it's still shooting images at this very moment, I'm actually able to pull the photos up that it's just currently taking. The one that it just saved, for example. 
can go all the way to the end right here. Tap this end picture. That's me right now. Now that we got some night lapses, let's put them into the studio app and right click on the DNG time lapse. That's a larger file size as well as better dynamic range. Since it's POV, I'm gonna make sure that it's not automatically horizon leveling or stabilizing and start the export in the right location. We're now dragging those images into Photoshop. Quick color correction, paste it onto all the images, right click and save images. We've now imported those back into Premiere dropping them into a new timeline that's the same size as the first image. We're nesting this sequence, and then we're copying and pasting that back into our 4K timeline where we can reframe. absolutely crazy it took me like five tries to get this right basically the train track sits right in here or a handrail and then the wheels just guide it along nice and slow two second exposures 5500 locked calvin raw photos and 400 iso hopefully you guys learn a little bit about how i creatively think about how to get the camera to move using different parts and pieces i have around the house just creating that motion through the night is so special to me they're extra cool when the camera's moving so check these out hope you guys learned something and enjoy